The project has been ongoing since ever since uh, the elections in 2010, and uh, when this uh, best party came to power, and uh, and actually, as as he described, it, it was used during the election to, to gather ideas and and, and, uh, and uh, thoughts from the citizens. Um, since uh, today, we we are in a, a position where we have uh, uh, about 9,600 users registered in. in, in uh, on the website, and uh, 2,541 idea I think, have been submitted for, from the very start. 334 of these ideas have been uh, sent through the uh, uh, various council within the city government or uh, in the administration. And out of those uh, uh, ideas, 51% uh, uh, are from males. 44% are from women, and 5% uh, are from groups of unidentified uh, users. Uh, we have some uh, like uh, lobby groups, like uh, within education in the west uh, village of, of Reykjavik, for example, that have been actively using the website. And we see that uh, they tend to uh, get their ideas uh, better through the system, because obviously they, they are uh, you know, uh, organizing themselves and, and getting uh, people within the groups or something to, to, to vote on the website. So, uh, and uh, we also see an interesting uh, thing about uh, the ideas and how they're processed. 37% uh, uh, of them are, uh, have been positively handled by the, the, the city government. 21% uh, have been turned down. 11% uh, have been sent uh, to other parties or, or are being processed in, in other ways. Um, uh, for example, ideas that don't you know, apply to the city of Reykjavik, it's not, in, in, uh, in, it's not the, the city's responsibility to, to handle them. Uh, then we have, we, we, last summer we sent an idea to, to the Ministry of Education, for example. That was about uh, higher education in, in the country, which is obviously not uh, the responsibility of the municipality. And, uh, but then there are like 31% still in progress. And uh, so, uh, and this also reveals uh, uh, um, the problems within the administration. We obviously have lots of problems within the administration. We also have to learn. and. Uh, and open up, and uh, you know, city officials are, are not often willing to, or, or, or many of them are, are not very willing to, you know, be exposed to the public in this way. And uh, uh, and politicians tend to be very vague in their answers. So even though, um, so, so some of these uh, 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 ideas that are still in progress are, are have been. They have been handled by the, the respective uh, council, but uh, 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 but the answer isn't clear. It's like uh, there might have come a report from 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 the, 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 the uh, from the technicians about the issue, and uh, they might have pointed out like five different solutions to the problem, and uh, the council has just accepted this report and. And where does that leave us? You know, it, it doesn't leave us with any answers, really. And obviously, this uh, makes uh, uh, people frustrated, and, and they kind of uh, some people have lost interest in, in the project. And, and but uh, and we came to a point this summer where uh, we felt that uh, we had uh, lost the support of the, the politicians, and. Uh, uh, that uh, they, they weren't really interested in, in it anymore, and we felt that the project was slowly dying. And so we came to a point where we just said that either we, we um, and now I'm coming to the, the core point in this, either we put more money into the project and more manpower and do it orderly, or we just quit. Uh, because uh, as we had, had been doing it, uh, we, we, were, we were raising hopes and expectations amongst the public and we were not, we, we can't meet the expectations because we are not putting enough funds into the project. 
So now we are in a position where it has been decided to, to continue the project and try to make it better and to try to, uh, the politicians have uh, said that they are willing to, to commit in the project and give us more funding. And, and so we hope we, it will continue and, and, uh, and, and, uh, and we have lots of great ideas about how we want to better it and, and uh, deepen, deepen the discourse. Uh, the debate between, because we, we discussed it here earlier this morning that um, what, what is often lacking in projects like this is the, uh, the debate between uh, the public and the politicians. We have the website where the, the public is uh, debating the ideas amongst themselves, and then on the other end, or on the other end, where uh, we have the politicians uh, talking about the ideas within the councils. Uh, we lack the communication between those two groups, and uh, and this is something that we don't do. We, we can do lots of things with the technology, and we uh, we want to improve that to to enable uh, this communication. But it also needs uh, uh, a higher degree of commitment on behalf of the the politicians themselves. Uh, they need to be more active in in the debate itself, and. And also uh, the city uh, uh, officials. We need to, to uh, open up and, and engage more in an open discourse. And, uh, so these are some of the things uh, I, I have to say. <laughs> Thank you.